Okay, welcome to the introduction to IT Essentials Chapter 0. And today we're going to talk about what is IT, what does it stand for, and we're going to talk a little bit about the IT field. So the first thing, we hear the word IT all the time, but what does it actually stand for? Well, it means or represents information technology. And information technology relates to the development, implementation, and support of things to do with computers, hardware, software, network systems that relate to helping organize and the communication of information technology. And IT professionals deal with the things that relate to those. So, kind of simple. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about is what is the IT certification. And this class is really a prep class. It's an overview of software and hardware, and it helps you to prepare for the IT certification course. Now, if you do plan on taking the, the CompTIA a test to get certified, you do want to read all the materials and do some outside work and make sure you do all the labs and that will really help you prepare. This class, which is the IT Essentials Hardware and Software class, really prepares people for two tests, the CompTIA A plus test and the European Certification of Information Professionals. Now we're not going to really focus on that. The A plus certification is really an entry level certification and you'll notice on the page here there are some other certifications that are additional certifications that if you're really planning on working in the IT field and in a little bit we'll talk about what kind of jobs you could do these are some of the certifications that are out there that people get after the A plus you'll see CCNA, CCNP, MCP, MCSA so these are all certifications that are required for people working in the tech field depending on what job they're doing. There are two other certifications on the bottom of this page here the Network Plus CompTIA certification and the Linksys CompTIA certification, the Linksys Plus certification. They are two other entry-level certifications that I think are good for people to get if you're really thinking about working in the IT field. It'll get you an entry-level job. So CompTIA A plus certification, Network Plus, and Linksys Plus. So the main one here, and we keep mentioning the word CompTIA, and CompTIA stands for the Computing Technology Industry Association, so CompTIA. And they're the ones that developed the A plus certification. And so when you complete this class, you're not going to be A plus certified. You're going to need to take two exams that are offered by CompTIA. You'll need to find a testing center. So it is a computerized test. And those two tests are the CompTIA A plus 212. So you'll see that right there. And then the 220 802 and the 220 801. So there are two tests and they're in the 212 edition. So that's what this class is going to help you prepare for. So you're going to need to take practice tests, do the reading material, and do some hands-on, and that will help you really prepare. One of the things to remember is that the a certification is not good for life. So once you take it, um, every several years you'll need to take continuing education credits to maintain your A plus certification so um, just keep that in mind the other certification which I'm not going to really spend any time on is the EUCIP certification and that is the one that um, is 
from the Council of European Professionals of Informatic Societies. So we're not going to really spend a lot of time on that one. So now we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about what kind of jobs are available to someone getting an A-plus certification, which is an entry level. So there are three types of jobs that you could qualify for, a field technician, a remote technician, and a bench technician. A field technician is someone who usually can travel to different departments. You might work for a vendor and go help other companies or you could work for a large corporation in their IT department and travel to different places so the field technician is usually someone who is going out and doing upgrades um, working on troubleshooting individual staff computers a remote technician is usually someone who's working in a off-site location via the phone and usually helping with tech support and it could be software or hardware related and the bench technician is someone who usually is off-site you usually don't deal with a lot of people and you're just repairing computers uh, it could be a job if you work for a company and their computers get service for warranty related work they might get sent back to a hub and you could be a bench technician doing that. All three of these though have certain things that they will be doing that are in common and you'll notice here on the page building and upgrading computers, performing installations, installing, configuring and optimizing software, performing preventative maintenance, troubleshooting and repairing computers, communicating clearly with a customer. This is a very important part of working in the IT industry, being able to communicate with the customer, understanding what their needs are and helping them so and really to understand them and help them you have to understand them and so this is a big part of communications. And another part of being a technician is documenting your work and getting feedback from the customer and also you, you giving feedback to you know whoever you work for. And then it'll go on here, and you should read these. You should read all these pages, even if you're watching this. There's detailed information. I'm just highlighting the main points. So, uh, you know, a field technician is someone who you could work in a location, and you might travel to someone's home, businesses, or schools, and usually your tech support. Uh, a remote technician is someone who's going to be help desk answering calls or emails or doing instant messaging to help people uh, solve their computer issues and then the last part is the bench technician you'll notice over here in this slide you'll see three tabs one two and three when you're doing your readings you should look at these tabs and you should click through them sometimes they're just pictures sometimes there's additional information that you should take a look at so the second tab here is what a remote technician call center might look like. And then the third one is a bench technician. So maybe if you're not a people person, this might be a good job for you. Um, the remote technician, which we'll talk about later on in the chapters, um, you know, if you are someone who likes to talk on the phone and are really organized, this could be a good job for you. And the last thing in this lesson and this chapter is the worksheet for job opportunities. And it's really important to take a look at all the worksheets that are in these chapters. You should download them, print them out if you need, uh, and do them. They'll really help you prepare for the exam. And you'll notice here that there are some details filled in. This is just an example of how to fill it out. So you'll notice it says company name and job title and over there it says details and qualifications. So you might might um, write some information down about a company and what their job qualifications are 
and so you can compare them you'll see there's spots for several um, places there and then there's some questions for you to answer to see why you might be a good fit or why you might want to work there so I really suggest you do these so this is all for this quick video and you will be done your first chapter chapter zero and on the next one we will visit chapter one alright so thank you and till next time thanks